I'll start with the Suns because uh, what the fuck is that team, man? They are well, first of all, my fault, out, my fault, my fault. So, I mean, the Suns are playing their best ball right now. Campaign's stepping up like crazy. I mean, Cam Johnson's knocking down shots. Mikel Bridges is looking like one of the best three and D players in the league. God, bro. CP3 is being CP3. Obviously, we know Devin Booker's cold. He should be top three in the MVP debate, but we'll talk about that for another day. DeAndre Ayton's playing his best basketball right now. I mean, not we know DeAndre Ayton's a 20 and 10 guy consistently, but the fact that he's stepping up right now on the defensive side of the ball. There's a game that they're going to get. It's going to be this one. They'll tie it up. I know they'll, they'll go up 2 1. And then. Um... And then the Sixers will just win four and then come back and go five and six. But that so means they would have to win in Atlanta in yeah, for game six. Yeah, but it's okay. Yeah. Win to win. Um, so let's get to this Washington Conference, man. What are, you, yeah. what, are you, what are you thinking over there? All right. So I'll start with the Suns because uh, what the fuck is that team, man? They are well, First of all, my fault, my fault, my fault. Whew. Congratulations, Tom Thibodeau and New York Knicks company. Yeah. But are you kidding me? Tommy, I love you. Tom Thank you. Thibodeau. Thank you. What? Over Monty Williams. You have to be kidding me. You have to be no, kidding me. I know, I know, I know, I know. He, I know. Whoa, whoa. So both these teams are are out of the playoffs. Knicks are Knicks are a lottery team last year. To, yes, and to be honest. But okay. The Suns are a nine seed, I think ten seed. That's I think they're a nine seed. Monty brings this team from the nine seed to the second seed in a harder conference. They have a MVP, they have a top three MVP candidate. I guess I have to admit it now, and he doesn't win. A, he doesn't win Coach of the Year. Doc Rivers takes yeah, the team I, that I was, was projected to be fourth or fifth seed. Yeah. We miss our star for a good chunk of the season. We're still getting the one seed over the Bucks and the Nets. Quinn Snyder, <laughs> Donovan Mitchell lo- misses twenty three. I think twenty some games. I think it was twenty three games. They're still the runaway one seed, and Jordan Carson won Sixth Man of the Year. Tom Thibodeau, I, I respect you, but there's so there's a couple no, no, of names you, you I draw went the, before. You went the the path I ex- I wanted you to go exactly, which was um I thought Doc Rivers had a better chance to to win that just because of what he said. I had Monty, I have Monty over Doc. Um, I would you if you gave the award to Monty and said Doc was second, I'd be like okay. What Tom? <laughs> like I, I respect it. Tom. No, he great did go job. with the team. He did a great, great job. job. With the team. Like literally, you. like hats off. Great job, but. Not this year. I mean, bro, we, the, the one year Nick Nurse won Coach of the Year, he got a, the second seed Raptors, and, and he took them from, I think they were, I mean, a mid to low seed, got them in the second seed with Kawhi. I mean, that, that's kind of the same thing that Monty Williams did. So why is it Monty Williams getting the same love that Nick Nurse got? Everyone was claiming that Nick Nurse was the best coach in the league and take the league by storm. I feel like Monty Williams made the same thing that Nick Nurse did that year. I don't know. We'll see. Sorry. We can go back to yeah, the Yeah, we can go back now. to that. No, thank you for mentioning that. Though. I did want to have want to celebrate a little bit. I was not happy about um, that. And they get two awards because we had most improved as well. Um, okay, so Cock-sucking. start with the, start with the Suns here. Two games here, so we have we have Nets and Sixers in our Eastern Conference Final, and I'm gonna go with the Suns here. Suns are lights out. Um, I mean, what the hell is going on with Denver right now? Can't really figure it out. And I don't want to say that a lot of people knew this was coming because I think maybe they did just because Murray's not there. But I mean, Jokic has to do everything. Essentially, he has to do fucking. Everything. I mean, that team. I think seeing him play last I night. Really, I really hands like, on I his really knees, like this Nuggets like, team, but they give missed, the man some help. They really missed Jamal Murray off the strength oh, that yeah. they need that other player that goes can create can create can create a shot. Michael Porter Jr. can create his shot, but he's just he's a jack man. When he, he also just, when he's cold, he's he's he, fucking ice cold. He still sees the bucket. He doesn't care. He he could. Which be, is good. I like that. I but. like it too. But he could be one for eight, and if he's your second scorer and he's one for eight, and he still is just mind clank, mind clank like. <laughs> That kills your flow of the offense. Like Jamal Murray, at least he'll go off a pick and roll if it's not there, kick it out, get it back again, shoot a three. Like with like, I feel like Michael Porter Jr. as your second scorer just messes up the flow of that offense. So, I mean, the Suns are playing their best ball right now. Campaign's stepping up like crazy. I mean, Cam Johnson's knocking down shots. Mikel Bridges is looking like one of the best three and D players in the league. God, bro. CP3 is being CP3. Obviously, we know Devin Booker's cold. He should be top three in the MVP debate, but we'll talk about that for another day. DeAndre Ayton's playing his best basketball right now. I mean, not we know DeAndre Ayton's a 20 and 10 guy consistently, but the fact that he's stepping up right now on the defensive side of the ball in the playoffs when they need it, this Suns team, man, they're primed. I think the, I think they're making out the West. Everything is just but everything's lying. They're playing all the stars. Their stars playing. Lying. Their stars playing the best ball. CB3 is giving exactly what you brought them to be here for. Their coach is, the coach is hot. Team's shooting well. Playing good defense. The, the city's behind them. I mean, ah, it's looking I, it's good for them, bro. You made it to the Nets Invitational Final. The Nets <laughs> Invitational Final, you made it. Thank you. Here's your ticket. You Have a good time. It. And then, I hope um, you make it in five. I'm going to go with um, with the Utah Jazz mm. as well, beating uh, the Clippers. Mm. And hot take, what the fuck's Kawhi going to do when they lose this series? Okay. 
So I'm um, Utah. I had, dis- I had to disagree with you here because Utah and Phoenix for me. We did say when I was talking, when we were talking to Ryan in that one interview. I said my dark horse that no one's really talking about yeah, is, the the, is the Clippers. Yeah. Um, the Clippers they did struggle their last series with the Mavs, kind of. That game seven was electric but, um, for Kawhi. He carried. I mean, game Kawhi, six and seven. Kawhi Kawhi carried in game six killing. and seven is Kawhi. Kawhi's killing, and I think they're just miss. PG needs to get hot. PG's not playing bad. He's not playing great though, and. The way that team set up, like if you look at the Raptors, I hate to reference that team again, but the reason why they won the championship is because Kawhi was playing great and so was Siakam. Like they broke the finals record yeah. for, or playoff record for most combined points from a duo. And Freddie too. So was they good. they need they need PG to step up. Reggie Jackson's been stepping up. I mean, Game Seven, Reggie Jackson had 14 points in the first quarter. He's stepping up. PG steps up. Kawhi keeps playing how they're playing. I think they can get past the Jazz. I think the Jazz are very good. I don't think they have the firepower to keep up with the Clippers in the whole series if the Clippers do start playing better basketball. They have the defense too, but I don't. I mean, Donovan Mitchell's been incredible. Yeah, I mean, since, I also, he, since Donovan Mitchell came back, he's averaged like twenty six, like five and six on fifty four to ninety splits. He's been incredible. But can he do that for seven games versus a full Clipper squad? Maybe. I, I also, it's gonna it's gonna go to seven. But I also like seeing you know everyone's like oh Lakers or Denver or Clippers in the East in the Western Conference Final would be would be pretty damn cool to see. Jazz, you know, Suns. Jazz and Suns, who you're normally not ever going to fucking see. Jazz, Suns, Nets, Sixers. Nets, Sixers. What? Five years ago, you, you told me that. You remember that tweet when it which showed, like, the bottom of the and it was the top yeah, four yeah, were literally yeah, the, the bottom, bottom four, four, like, five years ago? It's crazy. What? In the Eastern Conference there? Um, we're going to do a, a whole separate thing on, on, the, on the finals, but that when we get to when we get these matchups finalized, we're going to go, we'll do something on the finals. But for now, we both have Nets and Sixers in the Eastern Conference Final, and in the West, I have the Utah Jazz and the Phoenix Suns. Manny has, instead of the Jazz, he's got the Clippers in there. So those those are our little two right there, two and two, Eastern and Western Conference um, Finals and their matchups there. We'll get into the Finals, like I said, when we get into that. But that's all we're going to touch on today. Um, we wanted just to come in here, do